I've had a number of people ask, when a collaborator changes a document, do you get an email notification of this? The general answer to that is no in Google Docs. Now, in spreadsheets, it's a little different. You can, you can turn a setting on that actually notifies you every time there's a change, but that's not the case in Docs. There are a couple of ways to go about it, and we're going to look at two. So, first step is I'm going to share this with my colleague. So, I've added Christy in. By default, can edit is the sharing mode. So I'm going to share this with Christy as can edit. Now, if Christy makes a change to this document, I'm not going to see it by default. So I'm going to have Christy go make a change right now. So we're back in the document, and I haven't gotten an email, but I think Christy may have changed it, but looking at it, I don't know where. So there is a way with your existing documents that you can check this for people who have edit rights. I'm going to go to File, and version history. I have an option to see version history. When I click that, you'll notice I get a list over here of every time the document has been changed and what date and time. It's color-coded by who changed it. So I can immediately click at this and look and see that on March 15th at 10.09, Christy changed it. And if I look, she's purple, and I go down here and find purple, and ah, there is where Christy changed the document. The rest of it's green, that's where I changed the document. So that's a way to go and check. Now, again, you can't get notifications of that automatically, but you can go manually check it. Now I'm going to show you another way to go about this, but we have to back up time a little bit and uh, share it a different way. So we've gone back in time before I shared the document with anyone. And so I'm going to go share it again, except this time when I add Christy. I'm not going to give her full edit rights. Instead, I'm going to give her the right to comment on the document. What this means is, when Christy goes in and looks at the document, she sees it differently. Let me give you an example of what she'll see. Here's an example of a document that someone has shared with me, but they've only given me can view rights. Now, I can still go in here and make some edits, but you'll notice I'm in what's called suggesting mode which means that I can suggest changes, but I can't actually make them. It won't change the actual document. So I can go through and correct any problems that I see, but the, pro the corrections don't become permanent. So it's been a few minutes, and Christy may have had a chance to edit the document. So I'm looking in my email, and sure enough, I've got an email notification says Christy Turner's added a suggested suggestion to you're going to Hogwarts. I could click right here to open up the doc. Here it is. And you'll notice highlighted right here is the change. Now what's great is I see the comment and if I want to accept that suggestion I can just hit the checkbox and it will automatically change it. If you want to not get those email notifications you can go up here to the comments button and you can change the settings for notifications so that you can say, nope, I don't want any notifications. I only want them for comments that involve me, or I want all uh, notifications for all comments. So that is the way, in a nutshell, that you can sort of track what's going on in your document.